Hello everyone, Warp here, and welcome to my guide for treasure maps and the locations. They are a great way to get amazing amounts of junk. Make sure to click down in the description for links to each of the specific locations. You can find these treasure maps, you get them randomly, you can buy them from other vendors, and rock and roll. So digging up treasure maps, you get a lot of junk and aid and stuff. Make sure that you do have your scrapper perk card, and also any other perks that have uh, weight reduction is greatly, greatly awesome. And the main thing is, if you can have a full set of weapon weight reduction armor on, definitely super rock and roll. So we are going to cover here actually how to do treasure maps. It's always a good idea to set up a tent or even a camp right next door. So I'm going to do just one treasure map here to show you what I'm getting out of it. You can see here I got two weapons. I got a little bit of junk. I, probably, I think I got some aid that overstacked here. But you can take this stuff and you can go and scrap it here. And also another thing that you can do aside from the per, uh, the scrapper perk is to use a magazine, the Guns and Bullets 5, which gives you more scrap from weapons. You can see here it was like 32 scrap. Without it, and you pop this on, and scrapping just this one piece of the broadsider is going to give me 47. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do um, 10 treasure maps, just, just 10 of them, just to show you how much I get out of 10. Now, you could buy these from player vendors, or if you've been looting them and saving them up for a while, uh, definitely this is the time to go and fill up the scrap box and stuff. So you can see just from 10 of them, I got like 30 plastic, I got almost 400 steel, got a whole bunch of stuff, you know, get a bunch of ammo, get a bunch of stem packs. I'm also including a list from Miffy here with all of the stuff that you can get from all locations, plus a bunch of other guides down in the description. So let's cover all of the locations. So first we have the forest map number one. You're going to go over to um, Point Pleasant over yonder where the Mothman Equinox is. And you can see the mound there. And every one of the treasure maps that you have on it will let you dig. Uh, so number two, um, you can go over to Camp Adams here. You can also go to the other one. I always go to the lookout. I'm going to run down here. We have a little camp right underneath the cooking thing right here. And here it is on the map. All right, next up, I you can either go over by the, the AVR. I always go just from the relay tower. And from over here, you're going to be running down the hill. You're looking for like a little broken down playground. And uh, yeah, definitely make sure that there's another really big trick that you could do. If you do this with a bunch of friends, every map that you dig, they actually get some extra stuff. So if you have a group of four people, highly recommended that you guys all do them together and you can just get just way more stuff all right next up we have a course map number four over at anchor farm you're going to be looking for the broken down plane it's going to be just down at the base of it right here okay and here it is on the map just below all right next up we have charleston train yard from here you're going to be going off to the left looking for um, a car just kind of broken down right here and the mound is kind of right in the opening right here all right so next up we have forest map number six you're gonna go to the wayward and it's going to be right on the other side past Bessie here slightly off to your left here and right here some of these are kind of hard to see they're really well camouflaged just kind of mouse around until you see it and again you will not see that dig unless you actually have the the map in your bags and all of these you can place your tents or your little camp right next pretty close to it so it's rock and rolling okay for number seven you're going to go over where encrypted is and you're going to turn to your left and go right down the hill and it is right next to the billboard and there's widow's perch next up we have forest map map number eight this one's a little tricky to see Sometimes you're going to go to goalie here and you're going to turn to the left and I'll give you kind of a little visual of what it looks like in relation. It's right here. All right, there it is on the map. Next we have, you can either go from Newgad or Summersville. I always go from Newgad because it's just a straight shot. A little bit of a walk. Uh, this one's actually kind of cool. This is one mound that they made look like a pile of leaves, which I always thought was kind of funny. And there you go. That is the new GAD one. All right, number 10. You're going to go to Greg's Mine Supply. You immediately turn right, and it's just right down right here. Smack Rooney. 
All right, and that was four is 10. Let's move on to Toxic Valley, number one. I'm gonna go to Becker Farm, just past this broken down house with a fast travel. And you know, rock and roll right here, boom. All right, so next up we have Toxic Valley, number two. You can either go from Smith Farm or you can actually go from Clarksburg. I always just go from Smith Farm and go down. I'm gonna go past this first big power thing mob. And it's going to be right here. This one's a little bit easier to see. All right. It's kind of smack in the middle. All right. Next up, this one's kind of annoying because there's nowhere that you can place your tent nearby. So we're going to be doing a lot of them. You're going to have to kind of have a little bit of a walk to go back and forth to scrap. But this one's right on this little island with the, with the boat right here. And there it is in relation to the fast travel. All right. Next, number four, I'm going to go to Crater. I'm going to immediately turn around. And it's going to be kind of up with that hill past this big dead tree. Right up here. And there you go. Big dirt pile. And there it is in relation to the fast travel. Alright, next up we have Ash Heap 1. With, I'm going to go to the AMS testing site. You can look right to the left of the concrete slab for the entrance there. This one's really tricky to see, but it's right there. And there it is in relation. Next one, you're going to go to the Rusty Pick, and you're going to turn immediately around. And there's going to be like a little lake here, a little pond here, with a house. It's right on the other side of this house. This one's not too hard to see. And right here. Alright, and next up, we have the Savage Divide number one. So you're going to go from the Scenic Overlook. This one, you can just kind of follow the road down. You're going to be looking for... Kind of like a, I don't even know what it is, like a big radio tower kind of thing. We're looking for this caution sign, and the mound's going to be right next to it. Boom. And that is number two. So next up we have the number two, and you're going to be going to the new Appalachian train yard. This one you have to kill a bunch of dudes. And you're going to make your way over here. It's kind of where it opens up a little bit, right when it turns here right by when the train turns right here all right let's move on to savage divide number three from the fast travel to the top of the world you're going to be following the ski list down until there's kind of like a little break a little sign kind of little area for people to walk right here it's going to be right down past the next one it's kind of lit up here and there you go here it is in relation to the fast travel. Next one, you're going to go to Solomon's Pond. This one, you're going to turn around. Actually, you don't. I always turn around to kill the dude to test out weapons. Anyway, so you're going to go right here. It's right on the outside. Right there. That one can be a little tricky to see if you don't know what's there. Next up, we have Savage Divide number five. You're going to go to the uh, Blackwater Mines. You're going to make your way up going right by the billboard. Gonna be the, on the outside of the billboard. And right up here and right on the other side and right here. Boom. Alright, so next up we have the Palace of the Winding Path. This one could be really tricky to, to find here. You're gonna make your way all the way to the other side of the building. You can kind of follow the path. It's sort of on a path, but it gets a little hard to see. So you're going to make a little path down here. Once you see this broken tree, you're going to go one more level down. Not here, but right here. And here's how, how it kind of looks. So if you can see that broken tree, the mound is right there. And here it is on the map in relation to the fast travel. All right, next up, we go into the South Mountain Lookout. <coughs> now, this one is really tricky. If you have access to power armor, I highly suggest you grab one. Even if you just have an empty power armor frame, you could just jump down. It makes this a lot quicker. But we're going to that the, the point of that triangle down there. You can make it down. You can kind of just cheat along the wall here. As long as you don't fall. And we're going down one more level to where there's like a point. A little triangle point down here. Right here. And your mound is right here. Okay. And next up we have Savage Divide number 8. I'm going to go to North Cutthroat Camp. This is actually up above on the cliff. You can go around past it and go up, or I just go up here and then go around. You're going to come up to the train path. 
as soon as you see see those the wood little path here I'm gonna turn left and there's gonna be a little camping area and right on the other side of this pole right here and there you go all right next up we have savage divide number eight or excuse me nine I'm gonna go to autumn acre cabin got a little gap in the tooth there in the rocks I'm looking for these wildflowers and there's the mound and here it is in relation to the fast travel all right, the last one in Savage Divine, you're going to go to Fisher site here. It's going to be kind of where that, that truck is pointing to. Go to right here, turn around, and it's right here. Boom. All right. All right, now we're going to move on to the mire. This one's kind of in the middle of a bunch of different pass travels. I always go to the pumpkin house. You go right here, you just kind of turn to the right, aim for this little tree. And once I get to that tree, I just keep on going straight. You're going to go for a little while, and then until you see a house in the clearing, I kind of went a little bit far to the right here, a little bit, so I have to veer to the left. All right, and once you can see the house here, the mound is right in front, and here you go for mire number one. All right, so number mire number two, we're going to be going to the moth home. It's going to be right at the very end of that train track right there, and turn immediately around. This one's pretty easy to find here. We're going to go just on the other side of this train, and you can kind of see it right here, and boom, it's right at the end. Okay, next up we have number three. You can either go from Harper's Ferry, I always go down, and it's kind of smack in the middle. You can just follow the road either up or down, and you're going to make your way until you see the, the dude you can kill here. I don't think you attack this in this footage. Gonna see him right up there. Little crab in the car. So when you're looking right for the gap here, and it's right past the road. There you go. It's macaroni. Okay, up next you're gonna go to Crevasse Dam for number four. And it's just turn to the left. There you see that bus there. Just make your way. This one's super easy to see. And that one's right there, kind of a little bend in the river. Okay, so number five. This one's actually really tricky to see. You just kind of go here, kind of hug right to the, the poles right there. It's kind of in the middle of where all these rocks are. It's kind of hard to see, but I'll kind of show you the relation here. You know, you look for, for that, kind of those big rocks, you know, right there. And then, there you go. Alright, so let's move on to the best maps to do the Cranberry Bogs. So for Mapalachian Antiques, you're going to turn around. This one's going to be right underneath that horse trailer on the water underneath right here. It's cranberry bog number one. All right, and for number two, you're going to go to the ranger district office or the lookout. They're the same fast travel. Turn right around, and this one is also underneath this little walking bridge. Right, boom. Okay, and for cranberry three, this one's actually pretty um, long of a run. Go to the overgrown sundew. You're gonna run to the other side. You're gonna be looking for like a big, uh, dead-looking tree right there. This is gonna be right next to the base of it, right next to a little fishing pole and a container, and it's right here. Boom, boom. All right, and for our last one, you're gonna be going to pylon V9, and it's gonna be on that third pylon. You run past it's gonna be right at the base. All right, and I hope this really helps you guys fill up your stash, your scrap box, and your ammo box, and rock and roll. I want to give a big, huge thank you to all of the members of the channel, especially Warp Town with Artist Draws, Bump Face Jim, Crazy Town, Christina, and Wendy. Also, all the members of Team Warp. Thank you guys for hanging out in the member streams while I've been recording stuff. Also, thank everyone in support and entry. So rock and roll, everyone. Hit, click here for some other guides. And we will see you guys out there rock and rolling in the wasteland.